how to write scientific explanations using claim, evidence, and reasoning. A scientific explanation is a way to explain a phenomenon using observations, measurements, and logical reasoning. This is best done using the claim, evidence, reasoning format. Claim is the answer to the question. Evidence are observations and data that support the claim. And reasoning is what we already know about the scientific principle and why the evidence supports the claim. When you write a claim evidence reasoning explanation, you start with a question about a phenomenon. Let's say that you play soccer. You notice that when you play on turf, you seem to be able to kick the ball farther than when you play on natural grass. You want to know why. Question is, why does a soccer ball travel faster on synthetic turf than natural grass? Next, you perform experiments or you research experiments other people have done to gather data and observations that will help you draw a conclusion. For this phenomenon, you would want to do research and experiments that deal with friction and applied force and perhaps Newton's laws. Once you have analyzed the data and learned about the scientific principles that involve the phenomenon, you are ready to write your claim, evidence, reasoning. Your claim would be the answer to the question. It is the conclusion to your investigations, and it should contain words from the question. Again, the question is, why does a soccer ball travel faster on synthetic turf than natural grass? The claim could be, synthetic turf has less friction than natural grass, allowing the soccer ball to travel faster when kicked with the same amount of force. So notice that in the question, we talk about the ball traveling faster and same with the claim. Synthetic turf and natural grass are also in the question and the claim. Once you have your claim, you need to support it with evidence from the investigations. And the evidence should include the actual observations and measurements from the data table. Use numbers when measurements are involved. Again, here is an evidence that could support the claim. During the friction investigation, when the book was pulled with a force of five newtons, it moved at a speed of five centimeters per second over the smooth table and a speed of three centimeters per second over the rougher sandpaper. Notice that in the evidence, we have the actual numbers, five newtons, speed of five centimeters per second, and speed of three centimeters per second. Let's check out this evidence that didn't include the numbers. During the friction investigation, when the book was pulled with the same force, it went faster on a smooth table surface than a rough sandpaper surface. You see, when you leave out the actual numbers, it makes people reading your evidence wonder, how do you know it was faster? They want the data to explain how you came to that conclusion. Which supporting statement would be the better evidence sentence to use then? According to the data, as you increase the height of the ramp, the speed of the car increases, or according to the data, when the ramp height increased from 10 centimeters to 20 centimeters, the car speed increased from three centimeters per second to five centimeters per second. The evidence statement with the numbers would be the better one to use because it gives more validity to your statement. Now that you have your claim and evidence, it is time to write your reasoning. The reasoning connects the evidence to the claim using scientific principles. We have our claim and evidence, and our reasoning could be, I know that synthetic turf is a smoother surface than natural grass. Friction is a force that opposes the motion and slows objects down. Rough surfaces create more friction than smooth surfaces. Therefore, the soccer ball will move faster on the smoother synthetic turf than on the rougher natural grass due to the amount of friction acted on the ball, just like the book moved faster on the table. Notice how we identify what we already know about synthetic versus natural grass. The scientific principle of friction is included, and then it links that evidence we use to the claim. After you have all three sections and you've checked that, number one, the claim uses the same words as the question. Number two, the evidence sentence includes the actual numbers from the data table of your investigation. And three, the reasoning links the evidence to the claim using the correct scientific principle. It's time to put it all together in one paragraph. So remember, claim 
answers the question and uses the same words as the question. The evidence supports the claim and includes the actual numbers from the data table of your investigation. And the reasoning links the evidence to the claim using the correct scientific principle. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.